I saw a red carpet. So spirit is about to roll out the red carpet in your life, okay? Yeah, whatever is coming, it's going to be very big. I also saw like people standing on the sidelines. People were snapping um, cameras. I could see a lot of flashing lights. But I am picking up on the energy that the ones that betrayed you, lied to you, walked away from you, backstabbed you, played games with you, manipulated you, but all of that, these same people are... They're about to watch Spirit put you on display. What's up, collective? It's me, the Fly Empress, and I'm back to give you guys another energy reading. So we're going to see what the energy is going to be like, you guys. I am picking up a lot of... I just heard glorious. Okay, there's glorious days ahead, okay? When I was meditating over the cards, you guys, I heard spirits say, get ready. Now, I've been hearing this phrase a lot, okay? I, I've been hearing this a lot for the last past few readings. But when I was meditating over the cards as well, I saw a red carpet. So spirit is about to roll out the red carpet in your life, okay? Yeah. Whatever is coming, it's going to be very big. I also saw like people standing on the sidelines. People were snapping um, cameras. I could see a lot of flashing lights. But I am picking up on the energy that the ones that betrayed you, lied to you, walked away from you, backstabbed you, played games with you, manipulated you, but all of that, these same people are... They're about to watch spirit put you on display, okay? Um, <laughs> um, I just heard gawking. So it's like whatever spirit is preparing for you, your enemy, your enemies are going to watch you feast at your table, okay? They're going to watch you feast while they sit there with their mouth open. I'm picking up on the people who have definitely already started your healing journey. Spirit is wanting for you guys to know to get ready because you're about to go through a coronation. All right, you're about to be crowned by the most high and your enemies are going to watch your blessings pour into your life. Do you hear me? Yeah, it's going to be big. Um, I just heard Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. <laughs> So some of you guys, you could definitely be moving in the future um, because I'm seeing like large amounts of money coming in for you, especially for those of you who you could definitely be working on establishing your own business or your own income. And I'm picking up a lot of progress coming in because you're dedicating yourself to yourself and to your work. And this is going to pay off. In the long run, this is definitely going to be paying off. Some of you guys could be moving to Beverly Hills or you could be from California or you live in California. But I'm picking up like that type of lifestyle where things isn't as hard or it's going to be easy for you to reach the things that you always wanted. Okay, I'm picking up like the struggles that you've been going through. Things are going to become a lot easier for you. All right, the first car we got out was Big Sean. Blessings on blessings, do you hear me? So I'm picking up you guys, when your blessings start coming in, you're not gonna forget the people that helped you get there because I am picking up like a support system or this could be your soul tribe or your own personal team. It's like you're gonna carry the people with you that had your back. The people who supported you, motivated you, are the people that help you. You're gonna be there for your ride or dies. But the people who, I just heard naysayers, the people that was flaky and wishy-washy, they are going to watch you walk out of their life. And I'm picking up on the energy of them wanting to come towards you. All right. Them wanting to reach out to you. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing somebody on the phone. Like, they could call you out the blue. Some of you guys, you don't know how these people got your phone number. 
uh they could contact your mama i don't know why i just heard that too like they could contact like people in your family to get your number my family know not to do that <laughs> but um i'm picking up on the energy of them like reaching out to you they could be emailing you like hey girl how you doing long time no see i ain't seen you since high school i ain't seen you since college how the kids and you like you know i don't even talk to these folks you know how they even you know find me but for a lot of you guys, you are about to be put in pub in the public eye. I'm hearing a lot of public recognition. Because spirit is placing you in the spotlight, okay? I'm also picking up, you guys, you're about to upstage a lot of people. A lot of people who thought they was better than you are people who put themselves in competition with you. I'm hearing no competition. You finna upstage all of these people. They, it's like they not finna know what what's about to hit them. Um, I'm picking up your success. It's definitely gonna shock. I just heard a shock wave. It's gonna send a wave through your community. Like, I'm hearing upheaval. Like, you're gonna see people coming up out the woodworks, trying to see what you're doing, what you got going on, and trying to reach out to you. A lot of people are gonna want to come in and feast on your table. But these people wasn't there when you was going through what you was going through. All right. And a lot of times spirit put us through certain things so that we can remember, not so we can hold on a grudge, you know, like, ha ha, this is what I got, you know, not for that. But so you can see people true color. So when you do get that success, that recognition, when you do reach those new levels, those new heights, you will know who's the fraud and who's real. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely going to be spoiling yourself. Okay. We got Marvin and Chardonnay. So I'm picking up a lot of good music, a lot of good times, celebrations. Um, I just heard, so live your life. Hey. So yeah, it's like y'all ain't finna be chasing no paper. Your paper finna be chasing you. That's what I'm hearing here. But with this beware here, you guys are definitely aware of certain people that you don't cut off. And I feel like <laughs> I don't fuck with you. <laughs> you little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> you know, you just, I mean, you got to protect your energy. And I feel like that's what you guys are going to be doing here. Um, I also saw a cruise. Some of you guys are going to be planning a trip. Okay, this could be, I don't know why I'm here in November. Some of you guys could be going on a cruise in November. Um, or this could be next year, but I saw a sunset and I saw like a cruise ship on the water. Um, but you guys, you're definitely in your alchemist energy at this time. Okay, I also, I just saw Dr. Strange. When that woman, she knocked the astral body out of his physical body. Like, you guys, you are learning how to use your energy. I'm hearing you're embodying your own energy. And you are turning your dreams into reality here. All right. We also got Eminem coming out. <laughs> okay. I am. I'm hearing I am successful. I am abundant. You guys, you could be speaking a lot of positive affirmations in your life. I just heard I am going through my re restoration period. So it's like spirit is restoring you. Spirit is restoring your life. Um, I'm hearing emotional. Like some of you guys, you could have been emotionally out of balance here. But this is being restored. And once this is restored... I'm picking up, you're going to be on your way because I'm seeing someone riding a bike. Um, some of you guys, you're still having to work through your emotions here, but I'm picking up, you're going to do this. And you're going to be moving on, moving forward. And I'm, I'm picking up, you're going to really start putting the work in yourself. And I'm picking up that you're going to be working hard on something. You could be starting something soon as well. But I'm, I'm hearing that it's waiting for you. I just heard your divine blessing is waiting on you. So I'm also picking up you guys for some of you. Um, <laughs> there could definitely be someone that you cut out of your life. This person could have walked away from you, ghosted you, betrayed you. Um, 
went towards someone else, started a family, all of that. But I'm picking up the energy of this person wanting to come back into your life and be your Superman. You like, oh, I don't need saving. I don't need saving. <laughs> okay. This person, you know, this is somebody who lies a lot. You love the way this person lied. You know when this person lied. And I'm picking up on the energy of, for a lot of you guys, you don't have no love for this person no more. This is somebody who did not show you love in the past. And you could feel like the only reason why this person want to come back into your life is because they see that God is blessing you. Yes. <laughs> I just heard, I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? This could have been somebody who shitted on your name. They could have talked about you behind your back to their friends, to their family members. But this person is about to eat their fucking words, baby. I hope that shit tastes good going down. All right? Yeah. Look, <laughs> a lot of you guys, this person didn't know who you were. This person did not know who you were. Because if they did, they, they would have never did the shit that they did to you in the past, baby. You was the most important piece in this person's life. And this person gambled you away. This person, I don't know why I'm seeing somebody shooting crap. It's like this person took a major risk here and gambled you away, not knowing that you was going to turn around and become a superstar. All right? This is somebody who's also watching people become intrigued by how massive you done changed your life. This person also is watching you change your life. And I'm picking up like this person is upset, but this, this is somebody who's more upset at themselves than at you. And this is somebody who's watching people put respect on your name, baby. I'm hearing praise. A lot of people could be praising you for a job well done. A lot of you guys are about to do something that's going to help people on a massive scale. And spirit is putting you in public display. I just saw an eagle. You guys, you are about to soar, like I said, to new heights. Um, it's like you're about to have a bird's eye view about your life and everything around you. Things are about to become crystal clear. It's what I'm hearing. And you are about to, you finna scoop in and get your prey. It's what I'm hearing, you guys. We also got Katy Perry coming out. <laughs> you like, nigga, you hot and you cold. You yes and you no. Like, nigga, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't think so. I ain't got time for that inconsistent energy in my life. Um, This person is definitely about to see you roar, though. All right? I'm picking up you guys are in beast mode. You're putting in the work. And I'm also here in celebration. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fireworks here with this firework coming out. I'm actually seeing fireworks. So there will be some type of recognition here. And people could end up like your family or your supporters could definitely end up throwing you like a party or some type of big event in the future. But I'm picking up on the energy of you guys being celebrated here. <laughs> this person is going to have to hear about this. Um, I'm hearing social media. Yeah, about last Friday night. Yeah, <laughs> I'm picking up somebody being pissed off because they're watching you rise to the top. And they're like, they're stuck. I'm hearing this person is stuck. This is somebody who did not know that your energy was this strong. That your vessel was this strong is what I'm hearing. Like your energy is so powerful. Like it takes special people to hold this type of energy. Like this is somebody who feel like you use magic. And yeah, you did. You used the magic within you, all right? That's all magic is, is using what's inside of you to create what you want. But yeah, it's like, you guys, you're out of this world. Your energy is like out of this world. Very cosmic, galactic type of energy. 
I just heard big energy, baby. Yeah. You guys, you're definitely going to be causing some people to go through a lot of death and rebirths here as well. I just heard that's what you were sent here to do. Yeah. And like I said, y'all, it's something that you're doing, something you're creating, building. Um, this could be a DIY. Some of you guys could be making your own products, your own candles, your own makeup line, clothing line, your own nail line. Um, I'm picking up that whatever this is that you guys are going to be working so hard on, and baby, you are going to be putting in that work. People can't say that you did, that you took the easy way out or you cheated your way out. They can't say this. No, you actually took time in, in yourself and you put in the work. They're about to watch you guys manifest here. And it's like they think you cheated. I keep hearing that. I heard that on the last reading. There's going to be some people who's going to want to know how you did that. Okay, what store you use, what products you use, what app you use, um, what's your internet speed? Like, nigga, I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> you know, it's like people are wanting your, they want your blueprint. They want your, um, it's like they want to get access to your Akashi records and figure out everything that you know. But you guys, you bust your ass here. And because you did this, you got luck. You got a lot of good fortune coming towards you. I'm hearing this is definitely going to be your lucky season here. This is going to be the season where you're going to receive some major blessings. But I'm picking up like it's only the beginning. I'm hearing it's only the beginning. Some of you guys could be Irish. Or you can have this in your blood. Um, Spirit. We got mechanic. <laughs> it's like why you guys was taking time out, working on yourself, building your life back up, um, healing yourself, putting in the energy into becoming your own boss. The people who did you wrong here, it's like they're going to have to go through some hard labor. I'm picking up on the energy of them being stressed, depressed, their life being out of control. And it's like, I'm picking up on the energy of them wanting to come towards you. Are they going to come towards you and ask you for help or ask you how you did something here? It's what I'm hearing. But for a lot of you guys, I am picking up like, you could definitely be done cut these people out of your life here. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing Harley Quinn when she blew up that chemical factory and she walked away. Some of you guys, you have definitely ended something here completely. Like you don't believe in going back to the past. You believe in moving forward with your life, moving forward to the future. But it's like while you guys are rising higher and higher, this is somebody who's stuck at a place they really don't want to be at or working at a job they really don't want to go to, okay? This could be somebody who's going to be in poor health or this person could already be in poor health and you just setting back creating the life that you want, all right? Um, you're letting your imagination and your vision for your life um, unfold bef before you. It's like your vision for your life is going to be unfolding here. We got conflict. This came out in a reverse. Yeah. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> you guys ain't got time for no conflict. Like, you at that point in your life, you're not working hard for nothing. I'm picking up on the, on the energy of you guys are ready to be happy, be comfortable, be at peace, have serenity. And you want people around you that's legit. I am picking up for some of you guys. You're going to have a team here. You might not can do this right now, but this could be coming up in the future and it's going to lighten up your load, okay, where you don't have to do so much. You're going to have people on payroll is what I'm hearing. Yeah, but you feel like it's going to be too much conflict to let these people come back into your life. 
And yeah, they're going to be sitting here. I'm hearing this person is going to be sitting here drowning in their sorrow, their pain, their tears. All right. This is somebody who, who this is somebody who going to feel like they fucked up big time because you had you had the knowledge and the wisdom to help this person along the way. All right. You know what you're doing here. And, and this woman here, she on the laptop. This woman right here on the laptop, she don't know what she's doing. So I'm picking up on the energy of you guys. For some of you, you're not going to help these people. You're not. You're going to help the people that was there for you and the people who... I'm hearing the people who done been through a lot. Or for some of you guys, you could end up starting your own like seminar or webinar if you help these people, they're going to have to pay for it. It's what I'm hearing. Like, your time is going to be very valuable, very precious. And it's like you're not giving out no more freebies. You saw what they got you in the past when you was helping people. And they betrayed you or they used you. I'm picking up on the energy of you guys not doing that no more. You're realizing that you are valuable. Okay, what you know is very valuable. Um... Yeah, I'm hearing your knowledge is power. Okay. Spirit, what else? Some of you guys could be getting a cat in the future as well. <clears throat> or you can definitely be like a humanitarian here. We got slow. So, you guys, I feel like, you know, this, it took time. It, this was something that did not happen overnight. But every day, you kept swimming, you kept swimming, you kept swimming, 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 okay? You kept laying that one brick at a time, and you laid it perfectly every single time. You guys, you're building your empire here. Um, I just heard slow and steady wins the race, all right? You guys, you took time out to listen to spirit. You, you took time out to meditate. Um, you could have... I just heard at times you could have got stuck, but you didn't give up. It's like you it's like you had to take a break because you could have been overworking yourself. You could definitely be a workaholic like me. I have to step back from this sometime and really focus on myself and balance out my own life before I, you know, jump back into this or start working on this and that. But I'm picking up on the energy that you never gave up. You always Whatever you do, you give it 110%. And because you did this, you're about to be rewarded here. You're about to teach other people. Like I said, I don't know why I kept seeing like a seminar or a webinar. Some of you guys are definitely going to be teaching other people. But I'm also picking up you guys, if you are or you do end up starting your own um, platform, you could end up becoming a content creator as well. You could be showing other people how to do this, okay? Or giving other people advice. <laughs> you can't make this up. We got teacher and we got crafter here. Some of you guys are going to end up starting your own classes to help people um, start their own business is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys are going to have like an enterprise. I just heard enterprise. You could end up um, becoming famous worldwide or internationally. Spirit, what else? We got laborer. You guys, I really feel like y'all put in a lot of work. A lot of work. But I'm picking up on the energy of somebody... Um, Somebody going to be working hard to try to get back into your life. And it's because they see, they see that you're very stable. You're solid. They see you done planted a firm seed here. And you guys, you're about to go into this magical tree. This tree going to take you wherever you want to go. Do you hear me? Um, you could have juggled a lot. You could be juggling a lot now. All right. If you got kids, you could, you know, have to take care of your kids, you know, Feed them, do their home, help them with their homework, work on your business, go to a full time job, clean up your house, cut your grass. I, I do all of it. You know what I'm saying? So you could be juggling a lot on your plate at this time, but baby, I'm hearing you are unbreakable. Um, you're that type of energy. You don't let life get to you. Okay. It's like I'm hearing gratitude. 
I just heard gratitude. You're grateful for everything that you go through because you know it in the end it's going to make you stronger. And it's also, I'm picking up like people looking up to you. This could be your children as well or your family. But especially if you got little girls, this is going to show them how to be strong and how not to settle for less. Okay, I don't know where they came from. But for some of you guys, if you got little girls, the more you work on yourself and build yourself up and they see you standing in your power and you ain't taking, taking no bullshit, you working on yourself, you building a business, um, you're going to inspire them to be like you, all right? That's what I'm hearing as well because to be honest, you guys, like a lot of times we go through what we go through is because it's a generational curse. Our parents went through it. They stuck by toxic men or they stuck by toxic women. We had to see that. So we repeated that cycle. I'm picking up on the energy of you guys stopping this cycle, breaking this cycle. And whatever you're going to be doing or whatever you're doing right now, this is going to create a solid family tree. I just hear a solid family tree. <laughs> but a solid bloodline is what I'm hearing. And yeah, you do have the help of your angels here. They are talking to you. They are guiding you at this time. You guys are learning how to work smarter, not harder. Anything else, spirit? Self-made boss. Self-made boss. This is boss lady, bitch. What? What? Okay, don't she look like she from Beverly Hills? <laughs> yes, yeah, self-made, you guys. It says you will become successful or rich by your own efforts. Sometimes you must be obsessed <laughs> in order to be successful. And you guys, I can get very obsessed with my work. I can because this is this is what I'm building. This is what I'm creating. And I feel like a lot of you guys are doing this as well. When you put your mind to something and you're working on something, it's like, you want to make sure it's 100, okay, or it's legit before you present it to the world. So I'm picking up you guys doing this. I'm also picking up on the energy of you guys looking back at your life and being grateful for every single thing you went through. Because the future is very bright. I just heard the future is very bright. Y'all finna create a legacy? What? What, baby? You can't make this up. All right? You're about to create a legacy for yourself and your children. Them some little hands right there. You see that? Whatever seed that you're planting at this time, this is something you're going to hand down to your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. It's going to keep going on for generations to generations. I'm picking up you guys breaking a lot of generational curses. If you grew up in poverty, this is about to be broken. All right? Speak it over your life. Put it in the comments. All right? I break any curse that's over my family. You guys, you got to speak it into existence. You got to speak it over your life, over your children. But I'm picking up, y'all, harvest, the gift of your ancestors. These gifts are also yours. So you definitely got ancestors as well that's showing you or telling you what you need to do. Make sure you take time out and listen and look at the bottom. Then I say celebration. I told you guys, get ready. You're going to have a party in your name. Somebody going to throw you a party or it's going to be something going on, but it's going to be all about you and what you did and what you overcome, what you achieved, okay? People are going to be celebrating your name. They're going to put respect on your name and they don't have no other choice because you build this from the ground up and nobody can take it away from you, okay? Um, the people who said that you couldn't do it or people who thought you was crazy or um, delusional or whatever, you finna prove all of them wrong. But I feel like y'all don't really even give a fuck. This is about you proving something to yourself. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this message. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And until we talk again later, I love y'all so much.